I think it's come with my, the, the way my game's changed since I've had to come, um, adjust to the college game. And in New Zealand, I was more uh, on the ground, and, and that's, I could get away with that because I was taller than everyone. But I think just after three years now in the American system, being around athletes, just the reps of having to just consistently move faster, get that lateral movement, and the the demand to be able to play above the rim, I think just through repping that, I think is where that's come from. Have you dropped some weight? Uh, I mean, not since I saw, obviously I lost a lot when I got here, but since then I haven't lost an incredible amount of weight. I think I've just been, I think maybe. I've stayed the same weight, but the ratio of you know muscle to fat might be better, <laughs> I suppose. How does practice change from you for you right now, having those extra big bodies there with you? Uh, <laughs> it's it's good having like having seven footers to go against every day is great because last year we didn't have that at all in practice, and so sometimes. You'd have to kind of adjust on the fly in games when you, uh, I think it was, might have been Loyola. We had, there was a guy that was like 7-2 and none of us had really gone up against him before in um, Menzies last year. But no, it's good. Um, Riley, the freshman is 7-4. <laughs> Sometimes he won't even jump. You'll be, you'll like, I have my armbar, I know where, know where he is and I go to get my shot off and he's just blocking it up without even jumping and it's like, oof, like you know, but... To, so having that has been great, just um, adding more um, experience and reads to the arsenal, so no, no, it's been great. Will it change your mentality at all, knowing that you know if you pick up some extra fouls, you've got guys behind you that you're not at? Um, in terms of my, menta my mentality is staying the same as in being aggressive and Coach Holt wants me at the, at the back of that zone, protecting the rim. And, but he, Coach Hop doesn't necessarily want me jumping and swinging at everything. He wants me jumping with my hands straight up. So the fouls is, um, I'm not going to be too. I'm going to play. I'm play. I'm going to be playing hard. And I think the fact that we have those extra ten fouls in the big position now is going to be great. But I'm still going to be playing hard and not really conscious about it. fouls. So. Talk to me about you a year ago and where you're at now, and just not only as a basketball player but understanding what Coach Hopkins wants out of you guys in the zone. I think um, we're all kind of looking through a time machine at the moment. Uh, so, so, like you know, sometimes with the new guys, it's, it takes a while to to get. And now that it takes a while to get used to those principles. And now that we've been in the system for a year already, it, um, we obviously you know, picking up and clicking it a, a lot quicker. And it's looking back at like damn, like that's where we were last year. So, but um, no, the, the freshmen doing a great job. Um, getting into the systems and picking it up and I think having that year under the, for the returners, having that year under our belt has been great and now it's not so much learning, it's more fine tuning coming into this season which is exciting. We always have to ask, you know, what's your best off season Mike Hopkins story? Best off season Mike, um, so uh, probably it's only it happened probably like a couple of weeks ago uh, and it came from Quinn Bernard, so he was a walk on we had uh, my freshman year with Coach Romar and uh, uh, Coach Hopkins, we had a scrimmage last weekend, and it was it was good. We got a lot. Of, there was a lot of good things happened, but just like um, shaking off the rust, and there was a lot, a lot of things that needed to uh, that got better the the following weekend. But we we're going over the film, and Coach Hop was just he was on one, and he was getting into everyone, holding nothing back, and. <laughs> from you know, Coach Roma's a very reserved guy, and so from Quinn not playing last year to coming back on the team this year, that was his first dose, <laughs> was his real dose of Coach Hopkins, and he just came up to me and was just like, "What was this?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was just, and because he could tell everyone else was just like, mm, you know, we're used to it by now, but no, nah, just the look on Quinn's face is probably my his <laughs> Coach Hop story. <laughs> Did it take you a while to, last year to get used to that? Uh, um, you know, firestorm of uh, Coach Hopkins. So. Yeah, no, it did. And because I've heard stories of uh, really intense college coaches like that, but a lot of the times it's like how it's, it's weird for, for some reason. Like Coach Hopkins, he'll be like in the middle of one of those things, he'll be getting at you and getting at you. And then all of a sudden, like mid, he'll switch and just be like yelling at about how good everybody is. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. 
it's weird. It's like you don't really feel attacked as much. Mm -hmm. It's like it's a positive thing, which getting yelled at really intensely <laughs> can be hard to seem like that sometimes, but he manages to do it, so yeah. hats off. And you know it comes from a place of... Like, exactly, like, you, 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 he's, you never feel like he's trying to like hurt you or <laughs> insult you or anything. It's always productive, and so that <laughs> kind of makes it easy to sit through those sessions sometimes. And speaking of a 2-3 zone, what is it that you can bring to that 2-3 zone? Um, I think instinctually, just as I've got more used to the... Um, the, the rotations and that I feel like I'm not thinking as much and more just being able to react to what's going on so I've got that experience under my belt also being a physical presence around the rim uh, being able to bother shots and contest rebound in there so I mean that's that's basically where I'm at with that at the moment and even though this is you know the off season what's the biggest difference between year one and year two uh, for me personally, or yeah, yeah. just uh, like I said, I'm not out there thinking X's and O's so much anymore yeah. now that that's kind of been ingrained. Uh, obviously, always want to work on the fundamentals and stuff, but now it's getting to the point where I, I know where I have to be, where the ball is, where it is on the court, and now and now it's more looking for those reads and uh, the, those like off offenses and the way they try to go against us, how I can combat that. And you guys have a lot of expectation going into the season, and so fast, like from year one to year two. Yeah. How do you guys temper those expectations and just go out and play? Uh, the one thing, Coach Hop hammers home is we haven't done anything yet. Yep. So, uh, in terms of expectations, we haven't we haven't set ourselves any expectations, other than everyone's going to. Bottom line, everyone's giving 100% effort. Everyone's working to get a, to be as good as they can be for the team. And wherever that leads us will be a product of how hard we work. Thanks, Sam.